It's been so beautiful to be here in Goa for the last about seven weeks and really just to see what happens when a group of people come together like this in, in just interest and the reliance on, on open intelligence, in open-hearted intelligence. And I just see for myself that my own stability, my own solidity in that, just knowing myself just knowing that I'm not, I'm not this description, I'm not that feeling, I'm not that emotion. What I am is just that, that ever-present stability. Uh, it's so fun and so easy to relate to people. And it's, it, I can really have such a good time. Before I came to the training, I was oh, a lot of the time trying to have a good time and I had ideas about how that would be and what that would entail in the activities and, and trying to also figure out what was having a good time, what was being a benefit. Uh, and since that always changes depending on what books I was reading, which people I was meeting, it was quite hard to, to achieve that. Even, and if I achieved that, it felt uh, soothing for a few instances, maybe a few minutes, and then I was off again searching for something better. So it's been really beautiful just again and again over these years just to see kind of that what I am and my stability and just the total care and for myself and everybody is just available in each instant of just letting everything be as it is in just being that simple in not needing to be anything special not needing to be anyone in particular and in that everything is just so beautiful and for me being here again in Goa it's been really beautiful just how I and everybody how we just provide community for each other and that's what I've always wanted somehow just that sense of community just that sense of connectedness with other people not being this isolated one person separate from everybody else I didn't enjoy that experience and I knew somehow innately that this is not how things are composed. And for me, just this time and go, it's been really powerful being with the community and being outside in, in Arambo, just seeing that the natural community is always there. And when I just allow myself to be as simple as just letting everything be as it is, being completely, completely relaxed and at ease with everything that comes up, that is always there. And then I can provide that for myself and I can provide that for everybody I meet, for people who come here for the first time, for people I've known for years. It's that same sense of community. When I speak to my landlord, when I interact with my housemates, when I meet the waiter at the, the restaurant, that same sense of sincerity and just deep care can just be naturally available. And that's so beautiful. I love the setting here because it's so integrated with, with what is going on in, in a larger sense of society in Arambo. And it's been beautiful to see how myself and, and so many are just taking that sense of sincerity and love for each other, not just to oneself and one's close ones, but to everybody we're interacting with, how we really are just redefining relationships in, instead of being kind of okay now I'm going to complain and now I'm going to be grateful because you, gave <clears throat> because you gave me something but instead that just innate natural way of being where it's just gratitude is, is one of the foundations of relationships when I take responsibility for my irritation mm -hmm. for my sense of I want something to be different it's, it's so profound and for me, the Four Mainstays are, are so intrinsic to, to having that familiarity, having that recognition in, in all these I interactions. Without that, I would not have been able to train up that ability to, to just be that natural presence and that natural sincerity that I, saw, that I knew was innate, but I didn't, didn't, didn't know how to access it. So now when something comes up, I participate in the trainings, I ask the questions, I clarify my own experience within myself, I write to my trainer, I hang out with the community and things just naturally become obvious. Some si sometimes insights come 
but it's not really, I see more and more that it's not really the words expressed, it's not the idea, it's not the insight as such that soothes me. It's that kind of just tapping into that open intelligence, tapping into that, that gives that assurance, gives that trust, <clears throat> that really very tangible sense of trust. That's what suits me. It's not the words. It's not that I need to collect a lot of insights and write them on the wall and try to remember them. I tried that and it wasn't so fun. And it was quite also trying to remember, okay, now I need to take this situation, I need to apply this, what I, what I experienced last week or a year ago. It didn't really work. But having that sen sense of trust and just assurance that I can just be as simple as just allowing everything to be in this wide openness and let that inform my actions. That's really what for me has really made it so effortless to be to with each other. And really, again, I love that expression. It's sometimes mentioned in some of the trainings, just to be able to provide community for oneself and for everybody. In the internal community of all of my ideas, thoughts, emotions, and with the community, with all relationships. And uh, yeah, it's beautiful to be together with all of you. And I'm very happy that I was able to share all these weeks together. And w what's so beautiful is that it doesn't end here. This can just go on and on. And I know that many of the people I see in this room, I will see many times again. And it's, it's a growing just sense of deepening of relationship, deepening of sincerity. It's not just an idea and then that sincerity and that then I tick that kind of. <laughs> but it's a, a forever deepening of that sincerity, of that love for each other. So it's like, I love that, how Candice speaks about it sometimes, that it's inexhaustible. And that's really my experience, the, the ever deepening year to year of that. And to see relationships flourish in this way is just the greatest gift I could ever experience. So thank you, everybody.